What's up guys, Mike Burke here inside realestatephotography.com. I thought I'd just take you on the road with me today, show you what it's sort of a day in the life for me is like as a real estate photographer, sort of vlog style video. You know, maybe, maybe I'll do a series of these. I don't know, this is kind of like an experiment. I'm just flying off the seat of my pants here. So I'm leaving my house now to go do my shoots. I got a pretty full schedule today. Let's see, I got a, a, a regular shoot with drone stills. I got a regular photo shoot, then another regular photo shoot, then a drone shoot, video and photos for somebody. I have an exterior only shoot for somebody that I need to go back and do exteriors for. I got another photo shoot and then finally one more drone shoot just photos at the end of the day so my first shoot's a regular photo shoot and drone shoot but as you can see it's uh, a little foggy today uh she already texted me i think we're gonna be postponing the drone portion all right i need to get on the road let's go definitely foggy today <laughs> hopefully this burns off and i don't have any cancellations all right i arrived at the first shoot here this agent's on her game always, so this should go smooth. The house probably is in great order, so it's a great way to start the day, having a good shoot. So hopefully that's the case, we'll see. I'll try to get some clips on my phone or something while I'm shooting. Uh, the fog, unfortunately, has not improved. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure I'm not doing the drone portion of this and maybe not even the exteriors. I might have to come back for that as well. So we'll see. First shoot of the day complete. As I predicted, it was in tip top shape, so that went really well, really smooth. Uh, I wasn't able to take too many clips while I was in there. The realtor was kind of walking around with me the whole time, so I'll, I'll get more clips today, hopefully, of shooting. So <laughs> it won't just be me in the car, I, I hope, I promise. Unfortunately, the fog is still around. That's actually a river at the end of the road. So, can't even see it. If I don't lose shoots today, it's always the worst. That's being a real estate photographer. Last minute cancellations for reasons like this. All right, so arrived at shoot number two. Google Maps took me to the wrong freaking place. It happens every now and again. Not often, but it does happen. And it's annoying when it does. Luckily, this is only a few blocks away. Sometimes, I've had it happen where I was like 20 minutes away from where I needed to be. I don't know, Google, you need to get it together. All right, this is a small house it looks like. So, shouldn't take too long. So, let's go see. Shoot number two is done. That went fairly fast, so I bought myself some time before my next shoot, so I'm gonna grab a sandwich. I'm at Quick Check. <laughs> if you live in New Jersey or have Quick Checks or Wawa's, I don't know if you have either of those by you, but they pretty much have cropped up on every corner around me, so I live by these places. They're my mobile bathroom. They are often my lunch spot, gas spot, everything, so I'm a frequent customer <laughs> because they're so convenient and everywhere I go so it's a little early for lunch but you know since I have time now I got to do it now so all right did my bathroom break got my sandwich I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos on my phone while I eat <laughs> for some entertainment not my own YouTube videos that would be weird people think I'm crazy because I'm filming myself right now by the way I hope you can't see much of my car because if you guys could, you'd be appalled. It's absolutely atrocious. I live in here like every day. Obviously I'm out shooting all day long. I'm eating in here and etc. It's it's foul. <laughs> I need I need to like 
take a flamethrower in here and clean it out. All right, so now off to shoot number three. Hopefully I can get some more interesting footage other than the inside of my messy car. <laughs> uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, the past two were a little tough to do that. So uh, I think hopefully this one should be better. Let's find out. All right, we've arrived at the third shoot. That's the house over there. Cars in the driveway. That's always fun. <laughs> Gonna have to ask him to move those. But more amazingly, look, the sun is out. It's blue sky up there a little bit. Just like that, like, like a switch flipped. So I think I'll be able to do these drone shoots after this. So that is good news. probably noticed I'm shooting HDR so far today five brackets two stops apart uh, no flash I'm not using a flash today all these shoots are gonna be HDRs homeowners prepared the house very well so it's been a breeze thankfully no real issues today as far as that goes hey uh, yeah, the homes have been well prepared today, which is always nice because there's nothing worse than, you know, walking into a house that's a mess uh, and they're trying to clean it up when you're there. Oh yes, it's pretty much straight blue sky now. The sun has returned. And it's spring, it's starting to get warm. Love it. All right, so that's shoot number three in the books for today. Now I have to go do an exterior shoot for this client along with a drone video and photo shoot for this property as well. Interiors were done already, so uh, yeah. And I'm so stoked that the sun came out finally uh, for this, so perfect timing, like. I couldn't have gotten luckier on that one. So thankfully they didn't call me and try to cancel before because they were afraid of the weather. Because now it's looking pretty darn good. So I'm gonna head that way, it's towards the beach. So I just got down to the beach and this is what it's like. <laughs> Fog. Lots of fog. My excitement over the sun coming out was premature. <laughs> I was a few miles inland and the sun is out there, but uh, not so much here, obviously. <laughs> uh, not good, you can't even see the ocean. So I'm gonna have to reach out to this agent and see what they wanna do because this house is right down the street. And the whole reason for doing a drone shoot here is to see the ocean and how close the house is to it. So obviously there's no point in doing that today. So I might be losing this shoot. I might be rescheduling for another day. I'm in Manasquan, New Jersey, by the way. Jersey Shore, it's a great place to work. A lot of people talk smack about New Jersey, but it's a, it's a beautiful place if you ask me. All right, time to see what we're gonna do here. All right, so the drone shoot's canceled, but she still wants to do some exterior photos. So I'm gonna drive down the street to this house and do exteriors. It's not too foggy around the house, so a little sky replacement. I think we should be okay today. Uh, she needs some photos to get things going, so she wants to do it. So that's that. All right, so the exterior shoot is done. Uh, now that they canceled the drone portion, I got some time to kill, so I drove down south a little bit ways to Point Pleasant, New Jersey. That's where my next shoot is. I'm just gonna uh, get some foggy drone shots, you know? I'm gonna mess around a little bit. Why not? Have some fun. And there's some like rides here. I don't know, maybe we could get some cool shots with fog. I don't know. 
Let's see. I'm gonna mess around. Condensation on the lens there and on the <laughs> arms. Oh, it got a little wet. I guess that's what happens when you fly in the fog. All right, there were some foggy drone shots of Point Pleasant, New Jersey. <laughs> Hopefully, they look cool. I don't know. The condensation all over the lens, uh, it's hard to say from looking at my screen, but uh, you know, hopefully, there's some cool shots in there. I don't know. All right, so let's go see what's in store for us for the last shoot of the day. All right, so I'm at the last shoot here. I already actually did the inside. It's like a tenant situation. The guy stepped out so we could photograph. So we kind of had to be like in and out of there. So I didn't really have the opportunity to film anything. And it's, you know, it's it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest property. They can't all be tens. <laughs> but the property is near the river here and it's down about a mile from the ocean. The sun is out here. Uh -huh. We are going to attempt the drone now, even though I told her you're not going to be able to see the ocean, but she wants to get it done. So we're going to attempt it. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. And, and that'll be it for the day as far as shooting goes. Maximum flight altitude reached. All right guys, so I just got back home. It's about five o'clock now, finished shooting for the day. That was a pretty typical day for me as a real estate photographer. You know, if you're new to real estate photography, maybe this will give you an idea of what it's kind of like going through the day. Uh, if you already are a real estate photographer, maybe you can relate to my day. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Also let me know in the comments if you like this sort of video. You know, this is something that I could do maybe periodically, like once a month or something like that. Sort of vlog style, uh, day in the life video kind of thing. Yeah, so let me know if you like this sort of thing and I can do more. I'm home now, I'm gonna go inside, have some family time, eat some dinner, start editing and doing some stuff tonight. You know, this is a, this job is like a 24 seven operation. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will catch you guys on the next one. My studio should be ready soon. So I should be getting those videos done pretty soon as well. So I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.